That was a quiet intro. Yeah, it was real quiet. And the game was really loud. Hello. That was weird. Hi, internet. Yeah. Twitch slash YouTube. Game right up. And the then us. Down in the background. Yeah. 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 Sorry about that. That's fine. Why is your best friend hat on the microphone? <laughs> because that microphone is my best friend, Graham. I wonder if it feels the same way about you. <laughs> no, it definitely doesn't. No. <laughs> That microphone is my vehicle, my platform, mm. for my, I don't know. Wow, you can really, you can really hear that fan. Yeah. Huh? All right. Well, sorry, everyone. That's okay. I'll mention it to Paul. There's a fan going nuts in one of the computers. Can you, like, selectively disable a fan? Mm-hmm. Like without turning the computer? Oh, I don't. I have no idea. Um, You're asking the wrong person. All right. Hey, uh, we have this. There's a deck here. Let's go over to it. How do we do this? This one? Is it this one? What corner do we normally brought? It's been a while. Right here. Yeah. This is the corner. corner. Great. Uh, here's a deck that. What you said? James drafted. Yes. I oh. Guess. I don't know. I wasn't here. Tesa. Hell yeah. Yeah. It looks good. It's got a lot of removal. All right. All right. Cool. It's Let's do that. Ill-gotten inheritances. Weird. Uh, four wins, one loss. Yeah. All right, let's let's drive it into the ground. Sick. Can we turn the game up or a little bit? Yeah. Like yeah. Assuming it's not the CPU or the GPU fan that's failing. Nah, it's one of the ones in the top of the case. Uh. <laughs> Mike's in shot. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Perfect. I don't know. Keep? Mm. It's not a great keep, but I mean, the watchdog is the only awkward part. So I was just in limited resources, as you do. Yeah. Oh, they two were talking lander. about mulligans. Yeah. Two lander on the play, I think we were like 70 something odd percent to draw 70, a third one. 79% to draw our third land. That sounds like a keep to me. Yeah. There's like, a, there's math. I can't remember what the exact percentage was. I, I just know that on the draw, it's 85%. Dang. If you keep a two lander and you need the third land. All right. Perfect. Well, this is ideal. Spirit down next turn, and then we just <laughs> drop IGIs. And... Yeah. And now we never draw a fourth land. That was one of these things. Yeah. There we go. Uh, I can get them. Solar Blitz, thank you, friend, for the 13 month resale. Weekly Gaming Club was off this week. That means more time to watch Lair get lucky. Excuse me? What did you say? <laughs> you should have attacked there, right? With the Footlight Fiend? You could just trade the Yeah, footlight I guess so. It. You're probably right. We're up a mana, right? Oh, James is here. James is watching. Wait, where are you watching from? Are you in an airport right now? It's 220? There's no James way you're made. already in Philly. Now, Graham, you have to ask yourself, what's that? Uh, looks like a shaman. <laughs> oh, really? In this instance. Mm. Well, they, they put the counter on it, so they chose shaman. Yeah. So, that is grotesque an instant? Yeah, mm. but it we just start really... dropping these, right? Yeah, do we want to attack with the Pestilence Spirit, though? That's what I'm wondering, because if they double block it, then they have no board. I think that's okay, right? Yeah, right. I want to get it. I don't, I, don't, I don't think they block. It's coming out here, right? There's no way they block. Plane, five hour flight time means I buy Wi Fi. Yeah, that's fair. I do that. Yeah, what kind of bandwidth you get? I mean, you're watching us live streams. Really? You're going to go no. for it? Yeah. Oh. All right. Sick. Okay. Cool. Deal. Trades. Deal. I mean, we could also. Can't the watchdog give it indestructible? <laughs> it can, yeah. Do you want to do that? Is that better? Mm hmm. That's got to be better. That's absurd. And then we just keep up Grotestimize? Yep. Let's do that. Dude, slowly, like, you think, like, they made a mistake. I think they made a mistake. I think they made a huge mistake. Mm. Dang. Yeah, then we just get to presumably kill something here. Sure do. Is it exile? Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here. Oh, our opponent's in trouble. Man, 
You hate to see it happen. You really hate to see it happen. <laughs> you hate to have it happen to you. Yeah. James says it can do 720p but struggling, so you're watching at 420p. All right. I look so much better at 480 than I do at 720. Or 480, yeah. Yeah. Same. <laughs> <laughs> the blurrier, the better. Clear the stage. All right, you have cleared the stage. Congratulations. <laughs> How many IGIs are in this deck? Two? Three. James hates fun. <laughs> Noted fun hater, James Turner. So next turn, a land gets us to play. A three drop gets us... Oh, well, goodbye. Yeah. Alright, let's draw the third IGI now. The attack, right? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Good lord. Well, this, this stream cannot improve from this no, point. Oh, that's it, man. We peaked so early. Yeah. Oh, how does our opponent win this game? I don't know. It's taking three damage a turn. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh my god. It's just not fair magic. <laughs> so this is what it's like when James is in here? Hmm. You mean fun? That was a bold attack from that. Yeah, that was a super bold attack. Huh. Alright, well both teams played hard. Yep. <laughs> they can take us down to 20. Yep. Wow. It's been a while since mm -hmm. I've had a called shot that solid. How are we still down in bronze? I know we don't play that much. Like, we play like once a week, but... I broke diamond. That's where I stop usually now, these days. <laughs> diamond, nice. Diamond's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with diamond. I don't need to be mythic. Who am I trying to impress? I just like to get... I try to get out of gold. Oh, yeah. So that it places me back in gold. <laughs> Why did it reset? I just hate. Um, okay, James says that it just reset. And they, we were gold last week. That's good. I just hate the last uh, rank of the rank before you rank up. It's so stressful, it's and I hate how I feel when I'm playing Magic like that. And I hate how it like makes how it makes me feel when I lose. Yeah. When I'm like, I want to just rank up, and I lose, and I get mad, and I'm like, why am I getting mad? It's a game. So I just don't. I don't like it. I don't like rank. I don't like. Yeah. Ranks. Frost Fewer with 20 months. Welcome back. Uh, Paravale asks, is today extra special dice friends? Yes. Today we are going to the Port of Peril. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> yeah. Today is... Uh, we're doing it. Porsche du Peril. Is the overlay thingy on? I don't know what that Support. is. Support. <laughs> nice curve. Uh, I don't know what the overlay thing is or how to run it. Or who made it. I certainly don't know Cast who made it. Cast officer there. I don't like sucks. that. Uh, James, your deck sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he's still watching. I'll, I'll get Deck Master running in a second. All right. How do we do this? Deck Master. I thought it was the other thing. I thought Deck Master wasn't a thing anymore. Oh. Well, then I don't know how to. I don't know what the other thing's called. Cardboard Live. Yeah, but I don't know how to turn it on. I don't know either. All right. Well, great. Good talk. <laughs> <laughs> Should you have attacked first? Yes. Because there's no way they're blocking. Yes. <laughs> you're, you're correct. Oh. oh. Look at the Tron. They troned us. Wow. Um, Target creature gets plus, plus, plus one, so there's the panther, I guess. Well, uh, I guess we, we can attack with, with the guild mage. I think we're willing to trade that, right? Are we? Well, I'm, if we play the officer, then we can make this a 3 3. 
I attack with it. Can they? What's oh, the guild sorry, mages? chat. Sorry. Sorry. What's the guild mage's activated ability again? How much does it cost? Is it one green? No, the guild. Oh, their guild mage. Okay, it's two. The, but that's for a creature entering. They would have to pay two mana and then have a one mana flash yeah, creature. Yeah, I was worried about the fairy duelist. Right. Because fairy duelist, and then they could flash it. But I mean, fairy duelist is still a problem. Yeah. So I don't think we attack because fairy duelist exists. I think we just play our three drop and move on with our lives. They would have to double block this to kill it, and then oh. we still get to kill their thing? Yeah. No. Oh, no. no fairy duelist gets minus two, minus. Oh. I think we just play the three two and just move on. I don't think we can attack. I don't. Th I just don't think it. Oh, well, I guess make them have it. Right? Yeah, I think. I, th I think we can attack. Yeah, I think it's fine. I, Syndicate Guild Mage is like not even the most amazing of the Guild Mages. No. Also, I'm excited about Vindictive Vampire. I've never gotten to play like a really good Vindictive Vampire deck. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know if this is a really good Vindictive Vampire deck. I have but... no idea. I mean, the card's good. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it's a good thing we attacked there. We just got in for three, dude. Nice. I think that's. I think I get in my own head too much about stuff like that, where I'm like, I know Fairy Duelist exists in this format. Yeah. So I'm like, if I ever see my opponent not, like, in the best of one I scenario, play it a lot, too, is yeah. the thing. So, like, I agree with you. Yeah. Uh, the Lord Arthur with a 71-month resub. Holy moly. What is that? What is that? <laughs> what is that? Everybody, Everybody stop. stop. What is hey, that? What is that? What, what is the... that weird dog? <laughs> is that? Oh my I God. still stand by that's one of the funnier things I've ever heard you say. Thank you. Yeah. So this thing now one can activate. Bits. One of your best bits, I think, is that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, so we just slam here, right? I just like the idea of Rakdos. Or do we play? Ah, we play this and attack with these two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Slam. Come on and slam. So this makes their guild mage really cheap to activate. Hmm. They're on the back foot here, honestly, even yeah. though they do have Familiar, who's very strong. You got it. Attacks, I guess? No, no attacks? attacks? So now we can... Can we play... We can play the Vindictive and attack with everything and yeah. still activate the... Hell yeah, let's do that. Uh, oh, and sorry, one of the voice with a 19 month resub. Have fun, guys. Remember, shuffling is the loading screen. Dang right. What's up? I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh, uh, for those of you that are interested, I've sent the latest episode of Sidewalk Slam ready to be reviewed. By me. By Graham. By my uh, boss. Uh, it's a long one, too. It's like two hours. Jesus. Yeah. There was a lot to cover. Yeah. Took me a while to get through it. Two hour show is a lot. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that trade. Did you guys talk about the Phoenix Splash? Yes. I, yes, we did. Okay, good. I we talked about that paper. Here. Somebody asked me, they're like, did you talk about the Phoenix Splash? And I don't didn't remember what that was. Oh. I know what a Phoenix Splash is. Do you want to play that or I mean it uses I mana. Play that because like it uses our mana better. Yeah. Because there's a world that exists where, like, they play some big dumb idiot and then we untap where we draw land and we just kill it and then jam in for a bunch of damage. <laughs> oh, that's the worst case scenario. <laughs> that was a really good card against that creature. <laughs> yeah. I think Scorchmark sucks in this format, too. It's generally very bad. I don't mind it. What is this? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I think we just play the inheritance we can attack with the the weird cat <laughs> what's that weird cat uh, far too much sarcasm thank you for the 45 month resub oh omega doing ibushi's okay yes i thought i thought Ibushi's I did, finisher was that the last ride the golden i did ride. not no we did not talk about that the golden in that context <gasps> we got quenched we got quenched Okay. You got it. So, no, we didn't discuss the Phoenix Splash in the context of Kenny doing Ibushi's move. Uh, f did you already say far too much sarcasm? Yep. For 45 months, and Boba Robes for 21 months. Excited for an extra long sidewalk slam. Also, are either of you guys going to try to make TakeOver Portland? SmackDown's coming to Vancouver. That's more likely, Yeah. to be honest. Do you think um, they have another... Yeah, just if they have a remove or an interrupt or an interrupt, you know what I mean? Right. You just think you just try to kill it and kill them. Well, not kill them. 
Yeah, I don't know about TakeOver Portland, but I think we probably should try to go to SmackDown. Huh. You got it. Fair enough. Yeah, he just needs people at the, the go my yay me or whatever. Oh, can they activate it? Oh, they nope. can't even activate it. We have to kill that now. A lucky opponent. That sucks. Wish we'd been able to get IGI down that turn as well. Yeah. But. James and Orr, thank you very much for the 44 months. Glad to catch some Lure MTG for the first time in a while. I really need the positivity today. We're hey, here. That's me and Graham. We're here for it. Good game. Should I have cast this? No. Plus one, plus one counter. Then I hit them to two. Oh, then they yeah. Okay. No, they're still dead the next turn anyway, because they IGI to two, and then, yeah. yeah. Let me just activate IGI. We silver now! We did it. What up? All right, IGI was lethal hit that turn as well, anyway. <sighs> Matt Hardy on his <clears throat> YouTube channel was bathing in the water from the Lake of Rejuvenation. Interesting. Well, so they've been in... Because he came back as, like, Team Extreme Matt Hardy a couple weeks ago yeah. and lost to Buddy Murphy, I think. Yeah. And uh, they're apparently in contract negotiations right now. And, like, what happens with his character is, like, part of those negotiations. Because he, I, I, I think he doesn't just want to be, like, Big money just normal-ass Matt Hardy. I, I assume he wants to be do something more creatively fulfilling. They did the whole, remember they had the like Wyatt versus Broken Matt Hardy Halloween spooktacular and that then and that was it. So yeah, Corvus. Asuka's a huge dork. It's great. Keeping. Rossmification for 26 months. Welcome back. And I am Toast Beyond Toast. The 31 month resub. Back after a heck of a month. Greetings from Edmonton. Hello, Edmonton. Hi, Edmonton. Hello, Edmonton. Oh, uh, well, now that they play the Oligarch, I just go and I play the Pegasus. Yep. So I'm going to play the Pegasus. I was going to play the Order, mm. but Pegasus just blocks real, real well. A block. Do I attack with Pegasus if I We're just this? like trading two damage for two damage, right? Yeah, so no. I think so. Alright. Yeah, There's I guess. An IGI in our hand. Yeah, I guess we care more about their health being lower. Yeah. I didn't want to order there because this uses our mana. uses mana better. That's like a huge th thing. Like you want to use your mana every turn. Yeah. To the maximum extent. Uh, see now, mana. because now we can play order and keep up final payment if we want. I think we just play the IGI. I think we just play the IGI. <laughs> But I'm just saying. And no attacks, right? I don't know. Maybe we should just jam with the because we can with the Hazda. Yeah, no, not the Hazda. At least with that. Jokes oh. on you. I got two more of those. Yeah. Nidosaurus. It's a three-three. Sure. Because I mean, like they just trade. So it's just attack now. Uh. Well, no, I think we attack with the Pegasus, right? Both of them? I don't think we attack with... Do we attack with both? Do we want to trade our Oligarch with that? And then they get a 1-1 flyer? Yeah. It's like, they just snap off the trade, right? I guess. Maybe we have to do it sooner or later, but... I think we got that final payment. What's up? Um... What's up, buddy? I think we just pay the 5 life. Yeah. Play this. Or I guess, yeah, whatever. You pay the iron price. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Get out. Do I just slam? I think we just slam with everything now. They're gonna trade and get a 1 1. You're just assuming this is Asuka from Neon Genesis Evangelion? <laughs> Who has a YouTube channel? That'd be pretty funny. 5-5. Five, five. It's not a 5-5. Five, five. 
Whoa. Are we attacking? I mean, I guess we are also at 13, 12. Yeah. We did pay 5 life. We jam first, right? Oh, with with just the knight and, and the, the flyer? flyer? Yeah. yeah. They can't... Oh, yes, they can. They can definitely adapt that. Oh, yeah, they just played a blue card. I was like, what yeah. are they doing? Um, Play this out? Yeah. Yeah. They're almost definitely going to adapt that, which is fine. Like, if they attack with it, then they're taking a heck of a crack back. I don't think they attack. Come to life. Wow. Spider-Man. Um, we just jam. Gives us flyers, right? Jam with these two flyers and the R flyer. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. We gained three life this turn. Yeah. Now we need to draw that unbreakable formation. <laughs> that would be brutal, man. A two three. We're dead. Oh, okay. Oh. oh. Now we just slam. I think, right? Uh, not with the order, though, right? Everything but the order. Wait, is it non-token? No, just another creature. Yeah. All right. Maybe we just slam with everything. Because then... Well, they, they just... Because the if they... Okay, let's say if they block, 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 block. And then they these all die. Is it our creatures or the, any creature? Uh, our creatures. Yeah, so they take three, four, five, six. And then they're at two. Even if they block... Like, we lose a creature, but they, we put them to two. I guess? I don't think we need the order. I guess, like, we're trading the order for one damage. I think that's worth it. And then we have pretty much lethal on the board, unless they have a flyer and something else. I don't know. I like jamming with the order, but I don't know. Maybe that's too mm. aggressive. Just attack like this? Okay. Because then we're just throwing away the torchlight feed, right? True. Well, I mean, it depends how they block. Torchlight Fiend also does one does an extra damage too, which is nice. Hmm. So they're still at two. Yeah. <laughs> it's a 3-7. Wow. Mm, that's unfortunate. Unlucky. Yeah. After this draft, uh, I'm going to duck away to uh, prep checkpoint for a YouTube upload. Okay. And then, I'll, then I shall return. Stronger than before. Presumably. <laughs> that's how it works, right? Yeah. He came back. He was so strong. Get James Skyping in from the plane, yeah. Hmm. I, I take five. I, t I, mean, I guess I could block the veteran with Vindictive Vampire, but... Well, you could... I don't like doing that. I like... What about... Do, how do you feel about just double blocking the veteran? You kill it. I'm fine with taking five, to be honest. Like, we drain them for one, and then... They can't attack with the three seven anymore because is the vampire trigger itself? I guess it. No, it doesn't trigger off itself. Yeah. Another it's, creature. Yeah. I'm w wary of putting the vampire in combat. Okay. Hmm. Unlucky. That's super unlucky. I'm gonna take one more hit before I get 
frisky with uh, blocks. Catacomb crocodile gonna carry it. All star catacomb croc crocodile. James, you can turn the stream off. Uh, Pyre Dynasty, thank you friend for the 29 month resub. Bloop. <sighs> James says sorry. All right. If we draw another land, I'm do it double, double block it now. Well, now we're just. I think it, they were holding up two mana the turn mm -hmm. they attacked with this. So they probably have summary judgment, but I mean, we're going to lose to it anyway, right? Summary judgment only d hits uh, tapped creatures, though. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, well. If it dies, it dies. Oh, sick. <laughs> oh, we have enough mana for that right now. Oh, uh, yeah, we sure do. Uh... Just do it now? Yeah. <laughs> All right. To be fair, winners make their own luck. Six, seven, and one. There we go. Nice deck, James. <laughs> How's our collection, by the way? Like, do should we cash like a Ravnica before we open those packs? Ravnica Allegiance rears. Oh, we have a bunch of holes. Oofa doofa. All right. How many wild cards? Oi. I guess we only play on this account like once a week. Yeah. If you only play once a week, it's not really. Yeah. You're not going to see much growth. My one at home, my account at home is. Well, that's why I like doing Ravnica Allegiance drafts at home because I have <laughs> I have a place out of everything. So yeah. it's just like bonus. I was telling Adam before we went live, I got 100 gems just from the draft portion because I got like a ton of rares. Kaka, Kaka. Oh, we haven't bought the thingy either. I think I hit like level seventy on mine. Interesting. We should just do that. How much longer is left in this season? Uh, I mean, I assume until Theros comes out. Oh, so it's got to be a while. Oh, sweet. So I've got lots of time to finish it. Yeah. I don't do enough dailies. Is my thing. Oh, we got 10,000? I'm going to do this. Boop. No, just this one. Because this doesn't... I got two months? Oh, that's plenty of time. You see, I don't think we play enough to do it, so I'm just going to do this one. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> so much stuff. It broke the UI. I go through streaks. When I play Magic, I play it like real heavily for like a chunk, like a week. I'll play like Magic all the time. Yeah. And then I won't play for like a couple weeks. So it's like, as with anything, it's always, it, with everything I do, I find that when I play a game, I go all in on it. We should buy the Dragon Pet. I do not wish it. Do not enjoy Dragon Pet. No. Have you seen it? Yeah. It's, it's it, it upsets me. I'm a burst gamer. Yeah. It's probably one of the things that it's probably the most not frustrating things, but it's hard to find like people that have my attention span, which is admittedly not very long. We got six of these. Where do you want to put them? What color? Uh what did I do first? I did a uh, blue first because I wanted um I think the Gadwick is what I... Oh, I wanted the Royal Scions first. But... Green's great because it gives... Um, I like the hinge. The hinge art's very good. Oh, Sir Conrad, though. Yeah, Sir Conrad. The black's pretty great, too. Because he gets... Get in. Um, you get the Master of Prankles. Red has Ember Cleave. It's true. I mean, we can spread it out too. 
Let's just let's just spread the love. So, what do you want to do? We want to do more of this or Eldrain? Uh, what does Twitch chat want? Yeah, we're gonna do e well, one of the rank drafts. So, yeah. Ravnica Allegiance or Throne of Eldrain. What do you What are you feeling? I kind of want to play Eldrain, but I really like Eldrain. But that's me. I see one for each. Two for Eldrain. Three for Eldrain. Four for Eldrain. Five for Eldrain. Some RNAs there. Bunch of RNAs. Like Looks like more Eldrain. Eldrain. Like Eldrain. All right. Let's... I really like this format. I think it's fun. Let's drain it. Well. Strong start. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. I don't know. All right, well, I guess it's just us then, isn't it? I mean, the Gargoyles are really good. I don't want to take the Ratter. I don't like that deck. I don't like Blue-Red Draw 2. Snap Pig Deafening Silence. Gargoyle's pretty good. Am I wrong that I want to take the Fierce Witch Stalker or the Searing Barrage? That's what I want to pick. I want to take the Wolf, to be honest with you. I love the Wolf. You think that's wrong? I don't know. I just think there's a discussion to have, right? I just think the wolf is like so good. It's 4-4, four, four, it's huge, it has trample. You know? You like wolf personally, you see? What's the weird dog comment? Uh, we were playing a game of Commander and someone, came, James cast Rakdos, the showstopper, and I had Biomancer's familiar in play and it was the only thing that died to Rakdos. Um, and uh, that was what Graham, Graham was like. Everybody stop, stop what you're doing. What's that? Kill that thing. Kind of want to take the, I kind of want to take the wolf. I'm going to take the wolf. Oh, I love this card. I never want to pass this card ever. I know red cat melee is pretty good, but the beanstalk, love me the beanstalk giant. Beanstalk's gas. Yeah. Ooh. We could just take this. I really like this card. Deathless Knight. There's a trapped, but like, eh, I think trap's like not that great. I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna take this. The Deathless Knight. How many four drops is too many? I don't like this card. I don't think it's that great. I kind of like want to take the Carver. We could take the Pixie. Yeah, we could be green blue. Carver's really good, yeah. I kind of want to take the Pixie. I know green blue is like not that great in this format, but. You know? Pixie has higher upside. Pixie's not gonna wheel. Carver, I think we can get anytime we want, and we're not really like, I'm gonna take the Pixie. Oh, Sage of the Falls? Run away together? There's a lonesome unicorn too. It's a two five non-human. This card does block everything. A removal? What removal? Are you talking about runaway together? It's kind of removal. It's probably runaway together, right? Sage isn't that great. 
Unicorn's definitely the best card here. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. Oh, this pack stinks. I was going to take the flyer. I guess I could take the appetite. I mean, it's not great. It's good with our witch stalker. I hate this card. I don't want to take giant opportunity. Stinks, dude. Not with runaway together in the format. You kidding me? I'm taking the flyer. This is a guide mother. I really like guide mother. There's a brute. I'm going to take guide mother. Uh, I always want to play this card and I never end up playing it. Maybe I'm wrong. We don't have Bant. We're probably not even playing this Pixie. That's right, Mr. Sherman. Everything stinks. I'm going to take the... I could have taken the Crashing Drawbridge, but... <gasps> I mean, this is pretty good with the Silver Flame Ritual. There is a Dwarf, but I think we're just going to take the Ginger. Uh, Tracker, I guess. Take a six drop. Uh, we might play that for whatever reason. Return to nature. I like this card. This card hoses a lot of stuff. I think this card's pretty good, actually. It's good with our Silver Flame Ritual. I don't know why that's there. I'm not taking the Ranger. Ranger stinks. We just had a conversation about that card. Ooh, Trail of Crumbs? How much food do we actually have? Just the one? Do we have any knights? Not really, no. I don't think we take the contender, right? We're not really doing anything with it. Tree folk's fine, but I think like tree folk's like ultimately replaceable. I'm just gonna take the trail. Hmm. There is an outflank. I do like having one. I think I'm going to take the outflank. Trail's an engine, but it's like, we don't have any fuel for the engine. You know what I mean? I'm going to take the outflank. Uh, hilarious. Thank you for, for the 23 months. Hello. Much love, y'all. Take the outflank. There's a, oh, there's an out muscle to you. I think I just take the out muscle. Yeah. Mm. I really like this card, but are we like, can we reliably cast it? I probably just take it, right? Is it better than Youthful Knight? That's the thing. I guess it's a bit easier with like Beanstalk Giant and stuff. Being able to cast this for like its adamant. Yeah, we're definitely not playing this Deathless Knight. We're like heavier white, right? We probably just take the two drop and move on with our lives. There's a Rose Thorn. I just don't. I just think this card's fucking bad. Do we take it though? Rose Thorn's just like better. I think we take the Rose Thorn Acolyte, right? This Ranger stinks. <clears throat> I mean, we're not really ramping though. This is the thing. There's a Carver. Well, there's uh, all kinds of stuff here. I think I'm gonna take the first Carver over like the second Knight or the second Unicorn. Multiple rangers are just ridiculous. Yeah, well, I mean, 
Obviously, it would have been great. Not great, but... I'm taking the Carver, dude. Oh, I love this card. I think I take the Once in Future. Yeah. Hey, look. Now I could take it. I'm not really, like... Do we take it now? Let's look at our fours, though, dude. I think I just want a two drop. Or, like, a three. Our curve looks poopy. Our fours are just stacked, though. More fours. Oh, Squire. Okay. We do have that jousting knight. In the sideboard. Another out muscle, hey? Yikes. I mean, we could take, yeah, we could take the Dragonfire, splash it off our Acolyte and our Beanstalk Giant, but I think I want to just take the Out Muscle. What if we just take the Out Muscle and then from now on we don't take any more four draws? <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to take anything else. Okay, we can take this Knight now, I think, with the Out Muscles in our deck. Two drop. I don't really care about that. Is this good in our deck? I love this card. Works with Hushbringer. Works with our stupid bird. Guide Mother. Another out muscle. I think I want to take this squire over the out muscle. Or like the mana leaf rider. The thing is, is like taking like <clears throat> adventure a bunch of adventure creatures, but nothing with nothing on the board. I found that like when I played this format a lot, I was running into this problem where I'd have a bunch of adventure cards, but I would refuse to cast them. I'm real bad about like, oh, I should just play it as a two one for two, right? Holding on to it, like get my value out of it. Kind of want to take the squire though. I just don't. I just worried about like our curve, right? I'm gonna take the squire. Card stinks. It's pretty good with like all our combat tricks, actually. But like double green. I don't really want to play double green, dude. Double green's a lot. Especially looking at how heavy white we are. We could splash for Grumgully. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Eh, we can splash Grum Gully, right? Let's take it and see what happens. I like another outflank, actually. Flutter Fox? We have anyway, we have a Ginger Brute. And a Trail of Crumbs. Third color's pretty bad, yeah. This is like a definite maybe. I don't think we're even gonna need to play the Grumgully. I don't hate the foxes, like, cause like we're not doing anything with the food. Uh, we don't wanna play two silver flames. We might play this bridge. I mean, the bridge we're not like, we don't really have any heavy hitters. We just got a bunch of dorks that we're trying to like I guess it turns on the fox, but like, do we care about that? Not really. I'm gonna take the weapon rack. There's a curious pair. We could take the spider. Spider blocks. Hey, look, there's a two drop. 
Wow. Okay. But okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I drafted this particularly well, but... Um... God, I want to cut that stupid ranger. Yeah, trail's not very good here. I wonder if I cut this once in future. I don't think you do. I really don't. I think this ranger sucks, dude. I kind of want to cut the silver flame ritual too, but I need something to like punch up my dorks, right? Maybe I just cut this fox. Probably just cut the flutter, flutter fox, eh? This deck seems fine. It's not particularly exciting, but... I mean, the rider doesn't do much. Yeah, the rider's probably worse than... I mean, it's just... I just like it because it's three power. It's able to, like... Especially, like, there's turns... I guess if we had more food, this would be better. But I really like the turns where you out-muscle, like, your rider on their, like, witch stalker. And then you pay the food to, like, make it have to be blocked by something and has indestructible, like, you out muscle and... I don't know. I just think that's absurd, but... You know? I think that's pretty good. Acolyte's pretty bad, but we have no... We need something in three, I guess, but... I wonder if, like... Just for cur purposes, we do something like this. We are kind of weak to flyers, right? I don't hate this. I just don't mind this card. It stops a bunch of stuff from happening to us, you know? A bunch of bad stuff. Let's go with this. I don't know. You ever, like... For anybody out there that streams magic, you ever just feel like you're doing everything wrong all the time? Playing good, yeah, but I mean like Mana Leaf Riders not, or Mana Leaf Riders not even that good in this deck. We have one, two food sources. I just don't think that that is, that's not like my reasoning, right? Like to say this is a good two drop in this deck is absurd. I don't agree with that statement. You know what I mean? I feel like that's an unfair statement because like that this card's not doing anything in this deck it legitimately doesn't do it's a three one for two which is like fine but I, don't know. I just think that that's three two night over spider on three i mean there are situations where the one five spider can chip in for one with the keeper i like blocking too 3-1 for 2 is better in this deck than a 2-3 three for 3. <sighs> Maybe? I don't know. I mean, this blocks this, even if they have a non, if they have a non-human, this still blocks it. I think I'm just gonna play the knight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, huh? Uh, okay, good. I was like, what is going on? I can't really attack. If they want to pay mana to like, you know, get in two damage. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, what are they going to do against a 3-4 lifelinker? Hushbringer stops their innkeeper from. Yep. Uh... I think I just keep attacking. Oh, I... I'm an idiot. Oh, fuck. What did you do? No, well, actually, what happened? I what? attacked with a Hushbringer and I had this in my hand. Oh. oh, so you could have drawn a card. Oh, yeah, that's awkward, I guess. Oh. I mean, I mean, they're gonna draw a card off their two three, right? Because I'm not blocking it. it. Still seems fine. Hushbringer doesn't stop in Keeper? I thought whenever... Oh, you cast an adventure spell. And it didn't attack? It's a creature with an adventure. Yeah. So, sorry. It's okay. Oh, wait. You can... It. It's just... You only draw one card per creature that hits, right? Yeah. For Keeper? Yeah. So there's no sense in guide mothering the... No. All right, yeah. They didn't attack, though. Tree folk, though? Yeah. Yeah. I think you're in good shape. Yeah, you're in pretty good shape. Aren't they just dead next turn if you guide mother the tree folk? Yeah. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, they go to one? No. We hit them for eleven. It's plus two, plus one. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Another tapped out of act they're tapped out of eating food. Yeah. I wonder why they wouldn't put the counters on the adversary. Because the ginger brute has evasion? Yeah, but I mean No blocks. Yeah, we don't. Hmm. Uh huh. Should I still all of these them? Nah, I'll just kill it. I'm gonna make some grinding noises and then I'll come back in. Sick. Uh, okay, well, as per usual, I was playing too fast and didn't, um, you know, you just slow down. <laughs> it's part of my problem. Especially when I'm streaming, I find that I'm just like, bing, bang, boom, just like trying to make the cool, smart play rather than thinking about things. Trying to look cool on the internet. I mean, it was just one card. Yeah, but I mean, like, if I want to be a better magic player than realizing where I make my mistakes and why I make them, it's important, right? It's like, you know? This is a dangerous hand. Yeah, that's a problem for future Adam, though. We just, like, never draw a green source and then we're screwed, right? Keep <laughs> now we just draw like out muscle out muscle and then we lose I guess <laughs> this is dangerous it's like catnip <laughs> what are you trying to say twitch chat that I'm an idiot We draw Keeper. It's going to go out muscle, out muscle, Keeper of Fables. Uh. 
course. I mean, it doesn't even matter now. Uh, oh, I guess it does. I think we can still attack through it, right? Next turn we get to jam. Turn our shit sideways. Oh, no! Um, <laughs> okay, we can still win this. We don't have to concede, okay? We need to jump it, yeah. Stupid Oko. Stupid sexy Oko. Attack. Attack Oko. Mm. Well, we can kill Oko next turn. No, we can't. It's plus two. Ah! Oh. Ah! They drew a flyer. We attack with both, they just block block, and then I'm priced into using this. Like, I could Silver Flame and just attack for two. <laughs> Why does it go to six? Fuck. I guess I kind of have to do this. Stupid, sexy Oko. Uh. So it's a game you're interested in. We need them to have no lands. Okay. Not attacking with the knight? I mean, I guess, but it's just like... Well, fiddlesticks. We have to attack with both, right? Stupid Oko, dude. We could leave them with no board. It's just like... I guess I pump here and then yeah. level a three three next turn. I mean we have a we gotta pump. We gotta break through this stupid. I don't know. Maybe that was wrong, but I think we're just losing this game. I make an elk. We want to get through that one four, right? Like, I don't know. We need like, oh, I was like, we need note muscle. No, we don't. We need a forest. <laughs> Help. We can play two two twos next turn, but things aren't looking good. Oh, what happened? They played Oko in turn three. Oko? Yeah. I thought that was banned. Hey, yeah. Wait a second. <laughs> They're just refusing to make... I guess they don't really need to. Look at all the food they have, dude. Bake into a pie. All right. Why do you cross me? It's all yours. <laughs> they just keep making food. Yeah. Wait. Why didn't they... Why didn't they make an elk? Isn't Oko just dead? Just they have a creature. That's... 
the most frustrating <laughs> creature they could have played. <laughs> oh my god. So... I still just slam at Oko, right? And they eat Youthful Knight? Mm-hmm. Okay. Concede? We're not quitters. <laughs> Concede out of rage. Come on. VN497 for 13 months says, We're here! And Robocracy hey, now with a 41-month reset. Welcome back. Did you get Hodge Golashi and Hilarious? No, I was too... Oh, I got Hilarious, yeah. All right. I was too busy watching my photo and <laughs> make food every turn with Oko. James used his channel points to unlock the scoop emote. Folio. Well, I mean, the game's not gonna... like the, Okay, I guess the game's not gonna go along. Because they have all that food. Why are they making all this food if they have folio? What is happening in this game of Magic the Gathering? Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're not fine, but we're... Okay. It's fine. Well, thank you, Hodge Galashi, for the 24-month resub, and a heart to you as well. I don't think opponent is using Oko correctly. Mm -mm. They're watching our stream. <gasps> Hello. Okay. Hello, Pajamin. I hope you like Pajamin too. <laughs> pajamin, 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 Pajamin. <laughs> pajamin. <laughs> Only a couple of hours until Magic Fest Brisbane. What's up, Brisbane? I think it's pronounced Brisbane. Brisbane? Brisbane. Brisbane. <laughs> ah, no problem. <laughs> uh, Lanthus, 38 months. Welcome back. How dare? Mm. Brisbane. Found the, found the Australian. Oh, yeah. Brisbane. Melbourne. <laughs> Melbourne. <laughs> Gotta really emphasize that. Bjorn. Oh, they love that. Melbourne. Melbourne. Okay, maybe we'll win by default. If there's any justice in the world, our opponent has disconnected from the internet. It's looking that we way. We are going to win by default. It's looking that way. Melpjorg. <laughs> Melpjorg. Pjorg. Pjorg champ. That's how they say it in Sweden. Pjorg champ. Pjorg champ. Mm. Ah. Pjorgers. Pjorgers. <laughs> no! Also, no. We can hit Oko to one. I'm gonna. Yeah. Don't think I ain't. Man, a forest there would have been really fresh. Well, in the forest there, we wouldn't have had our gingerbread. True. Still would have been good. How much damage have we done to this Oko? A lot. <laughs> Purging off. I'd be able to kill Oko next turn. And then they play a 7-7, seven, seven, and then we're screwed. <laughs> I guess they are about to play that thing, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Well, suck. What kind of removal does that just play a se Just play a 7-7. Seven, seven. I've never had wanted to say that more in my entire life. Stop targeting Oko! Okay. Refuses That's to make 3 too days. much <laughs> food. Refuses to make Elks. All right. Why is our opponent refusing to make Elks? Judge. Yeah. Yeah, come on over. Yeah. We kill Oko, we win We win this game. Morally. Morally. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody knows that Magic the Gathering is about winning moral victories. Yep. And no other victories. No other victories. Moral victories. That's right. Everyone knows that. Yep. See? Suck it, Oko. Get out of our game! Next turn, they're just going to play once in future and get Oko back. Why do you have to say things like that? They can do that. They can do both those things. Yeah. If they once in future and Oko, I quit. I'm never coming back. I'm 
just looking at what what they're passing there. Don't do it. Okay, so they can't do both this turn now. Hey, Good, it planes! <laughs> Freaking awesome! A planes. <laughs> we can untap the. <laughs> Our opponent's popping off. <laughs> In a very specific. Yeah. yeah, I'm chumping the seven seven. Sure. Yeah. Blue Danube, the Blue Danube. Seven month reset. The invisible hand of the market will know what to do with all of this food. <laughs> Jesus I don't understand Christ. that reference. Uh, the invisible hand of the market is like, it's sort of like, uh, you know, uh, let the market decide, right? Okay. Like, like people will, people will spend their money and then the, the things that they spend their money on that will become popular. It's it, like supply and command. <laughs> supply and command. <laughs> people use, holy moly. You did it. Okay. Let's stop with, oh, I see. Wow. They have a stop on. Oh, so they're going to mill us about it. <laughs> yes. Those would have been nice cards to have. <laughs> that was that was a lot of cards. Yeah, it sure was. Okay, so we can Beanstalk and then play Rose Thorn. Right? We'll have three yeah. mana? Yeah, or Spore Cap. I guess Rose Thorn gets us more mana. Their opponent's still at 20. We can play our own Beanstalk Giant next turn. Hell yeah. Um. Anyway, people people use the. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's a it's a Randian thing. It uh, it came up in Bioshock because it's a Randian thing. Hmm. Um, people like to use. Uh, you want to double walk the three? We don't need that mana. And take eight. Oh. I was just gonna. Well. <laughs> you're just gonna jump. Yeah. Okay. How do we win this game? That was Adam Smith? I'm sorry. I don't think we can win this game, Graham. Anyway, people people use the invisible hand of the market to get out of having to make a moral stand on things. So Oko took sometimes. 20 damage? Wow. We didn't do 20 to Oko, did we? There's no way we did 20 to Oko. Seems that way. So this thing is now going to be big enough to... Trade? Trade. Unless they play land. Well, not even trade. We'll have to put the Rose Thorn Acolyte in front of it as well anyway. Mm. Uh, is that better than... So we can Witch Stalker and Lonesome Unicorn? I think playing the gi gi Giant's better. Yeah, right. Oh, if Oko made six food? I mean, yeah. Do you for two? Attack will get... Yes. Oh, it is a Rand thing, but people attribute it to Smith because it lends more legitimacy than it deserves. It's fair. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm not saying Adam Smith used it to avoid that, but idiots <clears throat> do. They're like, oh, well, you know, we'll just we'll just let the market decide. And it's like, well, but you control the market, so you are the one who is deciding. <laughs> anyway. 9-9. Nine, nine. Let's not... It's no reason to get real deep on... Capitalism chats with loading ready run. Opponent, what? What is your deck? <laughs> They're a mill deck. They're probably splashing Garrick. The black mana is probably for Garrick. Probably. I'm assuming. Or serpent? What? What serpent? Oh, Lockmere serpent. I was like, stone coil serpent? I was like, There's, what do you need the. Never mind. Okay. Why didn't they kill the giant? Because it doesn't they, matter. I guess they don't care. It doesn't matter. We're, they're going to mill out basically our whole library right here. Mm hmm. Once in future does not help us in this moment. No. Oh, 
But we can not mill out. We can cast it without adamant, and we can put a card on top of our library. Sick. So we just have to leave. We can cast it. Don't four they just tap creature? their folio in response to? It? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, I admire your your gumption, Graham. Your never say die attitude is my favorite thing about you. Thank you. They're just like, whatever. Just like, take it. Yeah. Take it, sure. Are we just dead? Short for Phil with a 46 month resub. Thank you so much. Oh, I guess that also works. All right. Uh, well, maybe we didn't have another once in the future. What do we want in here? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. Right? No, it really doesn't. overall in this in this event one on one all right we won our first game but then we ran into oko well, actually i guess oko ran into us we're not locked in here with oko <laughs> we did kill oko or i guess like we're, it we're just locked took in there with oko. a long time and our opponent made no elks yeah if they, they made, made elks then we just lose that game they made no it. attempt to elk at no point was elk created <laughs> at no point Maybe they got confused and they're like, I thought something about banning. I th Maybe, ah, oh, you know, elks. It must be elks that are banned. That's why. Anza Sea Bear, thank you, friend. Or is it Anzak Bear? Anzak Bear, thank you, friend, for 300 bits. Thank you. Or, oh, yeah, Anzak. That's, uh, uh. Why did I say Anza Sea Bear? Anzak. Uh, Anzac is, um... Anzac? Anzac Bear? Oh, God, why can't I remember this? Anzac Bear. No, <laughs> Anzac, it's one word. Uh, it's like, uh, it's uh, New Zealand. Um, Anzac? Ask Kathleen about Anzac biscuits. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's Australian New Zealand. What is it with this? Is this a keep? <sighs> if we draw a forest, it's great. That does... <laughs> so, yes? Sure, I guess. Great. You don't have to convince me much to like. That's true. You're the easiest person to convince. Second easiest per Surge is pretty easy to convince to keep bad hands. Surge uh, will stop others from keeping bad hands, but he does is not good at his own advice. Hmm. I see. Shreds, you say. All right. Turn to. Lips. <laughs> Never do that again. You're banned. Stop. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah, I know what's on it. There's a mouth on it. Yeah. Uh-oh. I, I haven't heard the new Enya, but I'd like to listen to it. Are we dead? I think we're dead. Yeah. I don't think even if we kept a reasonable six. Uh, Josh Erm, hey! Right on time. We can't do anything with it. I wish we can block in Carver. Heck yeah. Yeah. Um, Josh Herm, thank you for the five months. Hey, dudes. Thanks much, Lee. Big love to you all. Thank you so much. And Elena Duel, the 65 month resub. No! Oh, you have three, to. Three damage? It. That's only three damage. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, they can still attack. We trade. We still gain Annoying. life. Well. I'll trade for a dwarves. We could. Then we have no creature. Like, we, oh, I guess we can play the Carver. Oh, I guess if we don't block, we can outmuscle something. Or we can just oh, we can tree folk onto it. They just didn't attack. Oh, sick. That's even better for us. That was weird. Our opponent definitely should have attacked. Stay back on block. Yeah, stay. we're just chilling. Um. Speaking of shoutouts, Card Kingdom. Have we mentioned Card Kingdom today? And the Kingdom of Cards. Real muscle. Or do we just play a Carver? We could outmuscle a 
dwarf or out muscle the double striker. I think the I think the double striker. Okay. Yeah. The only thing they they could have um, oh no, that doesn't even help them. No. I was like they could have uh, Rimrock Knight, but it doesn't. It, only if we if we had fought the dwarf Rimrock or Rimrock Knight would get us. Are we? We're not attacking, right? We'll take seven. Yeah, no. We we'll take eight. Eight. <laughs> no. No. There's no, no way. No attack. Yeah. There's not a world that exists where we attack. Uh, Card Kingdom. Oh, that's a problem. Card Kingdom are great. They sponsor this show. Well, no, because and... next turn we get to play the Tree Folk and we can trade. Oh right, yeah. And a couple other things that we do. And um... we jam now, right? Sure. I mean, we still take a bunch of damage. Yeah. Like now we if we have to trade with Rampart Smasher, so we still take eight, but anyway, Card Kingdom. <laughs> we could block a dwarf for free. If they just attack with that, we just don't Yeah, we just take five. Really? Yeah, because we can attack we have a four five life linker. Alright. We're essentially taking one damage, right? Fair enough. Thank you, MTV CDM, for that. Uh okay. Well, I'll try that again. Card Kingdom, they sponsor this show. Uh, go to cartkingdom.com slash LRR. That lets them know that we sent you over there and we do that because we think they're great. And you can say loading ready run sent me button, please. And I'll send you a little one inch button. I think right now it says uh, shuffling. Magic's loading screen. So, um, how do you feel about just setting up for Silver Flame Ritual? Or we could just do it now and not get greedy. We're only doing one thing this turn, right? Yeah. So this lets the tree folk just eat Rampart Smasher, which yeah. is nice. I think actually Silver Flame is probably better. We gain all that life back. It's a life linker too. It's it gains vigilance. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. You can't play Wolf and Carver. We only no, have they're both. Mana. They're both four mana. Next turn we can play Wolf and Carver. So like maybe it would have been better. No, because yeah, I mean we could have played like Wolf there, and gained and eaten the food, and then next turn played Carver and Silver Flame Ritual, and then we got the counters spread out more. Yeah. Maybe that was better. Yeah. That was probably better. Thinking about it. They have an instant. I that's like what I, that's the thing I don't like about Arena is it just gives away. I think they have Rimrock Knight, so we just block the 5-5 five five and they'll probably trade and, and take 14 damage. Well, if you block the 2-2 two two with the 5-6 lifelinker, then there's the only tricks that get us like Insatiable Appetite gets us. No, it doesn't. Insatiable Lab on the 2 2. Okay, so chat says block the 2 2. Yeah, you so. definitely block the 2 2 because right. I think they have like Rimrock Knight or Barge in. Or Searing Barrage, sure. Now we can just play two things. We still gained life off that, didn't we? Yeah. Huh, alright. We took 12. So now, yeah. So, Youthful Knight, keep up food, or well, We carver. jam for seven, I think. We play the Carver. Yeah, right. I like that. Play the Carver. Sure. Yes, we have welcomed those people. Yeah, joke's on you. With Hushbringer dead, we get food from the Witch Stalker, which mm -hmm. we wouldn't have otherwise. Oh, yeah. I forgot about. Fairy Guard Mother off the top. You got it. That's fine. We trade. We block. 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 There's no way they attack all that. Well, they're dead if they do that. Yeah. So, yeah. And we're definitely just jamming, right? With both? Yeah, I think so, right? Yeah, I think so. Because yeah. we've got. We can get two youthful knights down. Yeah. Two youths. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So they lose their board, we lose our board. And do we get to assign this combat damage in a useful way? Because it does four and then three. Yeah, this works. Yeah. This is fine. Okay. Howdy, is this a stream full of high quality magic plays? Uh, uh it's certainly something. Uh oh. Why not kill 
Uh, I guess they wanted to play a creature. I'm gonna eat this now. Yeah. Harry guy, mother, please. Oh, that Where works. That? Yeah. Adamant is very important there. Oh, actually, no, because it's not combat, so yeah. the double strike doesn't do anything. Sick. Coffee. Want to give me one? Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. We did it. And we ranked up. Cool. Hushbringer beats aggro again? Yeah. I think Hushbringer is a really good magic card in this format specifically, too. Two mana. It's just like two mana, right? Like, it's like such like a low cost. It's like a two mana, one, two lifelink flyer. Hell yeah, brother. How do I take my coffee? Black. No cream, no sugar, no fun. Adam, as James is more and more handy on Road Quest, my girlfriend says you're starting to lose him, lose to him in the cutie boy rankings for Road Quest. Yeah, that's fair. James is like far more of an adult than I am. I'm gonna keep this. I don't know, maybe that wasn't a snap keep, but I snap kept this, is that wrong? A four lander with silver flame squire. Seems fine. Yeah. Do we just play the squire? Yeah, I think so. Then we have a three drop, and then on turn four we play keeper of Have fables. you tried coffee with salt? What the? Salt? I heard that. You have to trade, right? Oh, I would yeah, sure. trade. Probably should have attacked first. They probably wouldn't block. Hmm. You know? I misread what cream I just put in. Together, Adam and I continue combine to make the world's perfect human. It's probably like larger amount James than it is Adam. James far more responsible than I am. Hmm. I see. To shreds, you say. Um, okay, so we have to play the keeper and then hope that we get to out muscle. I mean, Yorvo. So the only way that Yorvo gets, probably six, only six, yeah yeah Yorvo so probably only gets one counter yeah. this turn, unless they play. I don't think there's a five power four. four. Uh, oh, Rampart Smasher. True. Specifically, we're okay. okay. Yeah, we're okay. Rampart Smasher would have got us specifically that, and then it would become a six six, and then we're screwed. Thanks, Swaggy Taco. I like this sweater a lot. What? What is this coffee? What does it smell? What is this? What flavor is this? It's not. It's just coffee. Can I smell it? It smells like something. Does it, smell? it doesn't smell weird. It smells good. It no, smells like a food. No. <laughs> no, it's just nice, good coffee. Yeah. You and you and Adamant. And then we jam, right? Well, it's indestructible this turn, yep. so yes. Yes, we jam. Oh, oh. Sick. Logophile99 for the six month resub. Hi there, my wholesome Canadian boys. What is up? Welcome. Never and... thought someone would ever describe me as wholesome. <laughs> You're more wholesome than you than you think. Do, so? do we welcome Martizzle? Martizzle, thank you for the 18 months. Rosethorn Halberd! Rosethorn Halberd? Alright, you got me. Alright. What are we doing? Uh, you get Silver Flame, Adamant, and then make the Brood unblo unblockable, and then just draw to you and keep back the 5-6. Or you could outmuscle their ginger brute and make them pay to to reequip the halberd, yeah, which they I, can do. It which takes they a whole turn. Do. It takes but a they whole turn. Only have one card in hand, so there's probably not a lot going on anyway. I don't hate. I don't like. I mean, like, I think the sounds weird, but the rosethorn halberd's fine on the ginger brute. Yeah. The way the board state is, I think I kind of like silver flame ritualing and just jamming. Yeah. Let's do it. Like we adamant it. Yeah. Yeah. Do we make the brood? On, we make and we make the brood on block, blockable, right? Yeah, I'm gonna we, attack. With, I'm gonna attack with keeper. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Because they can't block it. Yeah. I mean, they can, but they can't profitably block it. Oh, right. Everything has vigilance, too. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> I, yeah. That's no, we draw one. We draw one card, yeah. Hey, G, you have a... Oh, sorry. Uh, Jiko Kuro, 43 months reset. Hey, G, you have a large box in the mail. Hope it is there and open by Christmas. LR Heart sent two weeks ago, probably. All right, cool. Thank you, Jiko Kuro. I'm excited to see it come in. Her point's in a lot of trouble. Beej and I are doing a lot of mail time catch-up. I've recording. noticed that... And I noticed that you have been. Wow, God's perfect deck. Yeah. We currently have a lot of... A lot of fancy Japanese candies, because we opened two different boxes from 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 Japan. Who's mailing you ketchup? I mean, some well, it's not actually ketchup, but somebody did em somebody did e uh, mail us uh, some tomato sauce from Australia. That was pretty good. Thank you. Yeah. It's got the cool package. Have you actually used one of them? No. It's got the cool package. Wow! That look at that like. hand. Keep. It's got everything. You like squeeze the pack in half, and it's, they work so much better than the little like rippy packs that we have here. Beep beep, beep beep. Choo choo. <laughs> Hate that laugh. <laughs> you still playing Destiny, Graham? Yep. I just couldn't get into it. That's fair. Uh, I just play Hushbringer and pass. Fair enough, Jiko. That makes a lot of sense. How was the Haunted Moon? I, I enjoyed the Haunted Moon. Have you done the raid? Yeah, the raid was... was yeah, it was pretty intense. It was uh, some fun stuff. The, I like the mechanics. More importantly, I beat the raid in the uh, within the period of time that uh, Bungie allowed me the privilege of... <laughs> Buying a jacket. Oh, sick. Yeah. If they get a planes, that means they have outflank. Right? And then they can get our ginger root. Not really, because we have Garen Oh, no, they got a forest. Oh, look! Speaking, an outflank! Speaking of outflank. <laughs> uh, that said, we just slam and play a 2-2. Yeah. Right? yeah. That was a weird attack. I mean, they weren't blocking anyway, but just like... I almost, I don't even know if, like, is the play there just to, like, make your opponent spend that extra mana, right? To mm -hmm. charge up the ginger brute? Like, it always feels like that's the correct play, but... Like an IRL jacket? Yeah, it was 150 bucks. It looks pretty sweet. I'm, it's gonna be... It's not gonna get here for, like, six months. No blocks. The box does not contain food? That's good. Mm -hmm. Next time we get to tree folk on our Hushbringer and go to town. Well, I don't know how long Monkey Rama, but the ones for the previous raid. <laughs> Where's the giant man child you speak of? It's me. I'm the giant man child. The ones for the previous raid only just started arriving to people, so. I'm excited to go back to Theros. I know you are. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. Uh, okay. What's, so, what the, what's going on over here? Yeah, what could they have? They could have Wild Board and Preserver, but that's a rare, so we don't need to play around that. Yeah. I think we Tree Folk onto the Hushbringer mm -hmm. and just jam. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sorry. and gets our Ginger got, Root. There we go. Oh. Outflank gets our ginger brew, but that's pretty much it. Man, my cat. I love him, but... His fur gets everywhere. His... Oh, they could have Squire. Silver flame, flame Squire. Sure, that doesn't give it reach. Nope, so we just attack with that, then? And not throw a creature away? You know what I mean? Sure. I think we just attack with the Flyer. Because then next turn we're just like cool turn stacked. Theros is where I really started drafting. That's when that's how I caught the bug. Mm -hmm. Was drafting Theros. Born of the Gods stunk, but I liked the other two sets a lot. I mean, I'm, I've gone on record saying Oof. that. Oh yeah, they definitely have Silver Flame Squire. That card is not good. Not good. I think it's like. 
fine in sun decks? Oh. I guess they didn't. Come on over. I think we just jam. I think we do too. Do we even give the gen No, we just go. No, we just go. Now we use the carver? I think so. Yeah. Because this way we carver. And then we can play knight and leave up outflank. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. That also works. Theros looks dope as, yeah. Do like, Theros' flavor is, like, off the charts good. I my, I think that was, a, wasn't that, like, kind of, well, not really the first set to have, like, really good flavor, but just, like, I don't know, for me, specifically, when I was, like, looking at other sets, like, I don't know. I mean, we People did. People love Ravnica, but I don't multiple. think Ravnica has, like, I don't really dig Ravnica's, like, flavor. We like, did multiple, I mean? keep, we did multiple episodes on Tap Tap Conceit about Greek myths, because my mom used to read me Greek myths, like, as bedtime stories. Oh, really? Yeah. And so I was like, oh, it's this. Oh, it's that. Oh, it's this other thing. Yeah. My favorite part about that was definitely the, uh... Huh. Okay. I mean, like, I like Rav Ravnica enough, but I just think that from... Oh, did they play Lovestruck Beast? Yeah. My favorite part about that podcast, by the way, was like, uh, which card in the set do you think like is absolutely not inspired by a myth or whatever? Mm -hmm. And uh, the the giant fox is actually based on a Greek myth, like the Vulpin Goliath. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So here's a question for you. Mm -hmm. Youthful Knight. Oh, you just use your mana. Okay. I think we, we don't care about... We want to... Well, because, yeah, leaving up outflank doesn't do anything there, because the but Love like, Strike Beast isn't going to be attacked. Next turn, though, we if they play Love Strike Beast, we can go Youthful Knight, Youthful Knight, leave up outflank. Mm. You know what I mean? And then we can just jam with everything. Yeah. I think this is better for us. So the Beast can still block. But it dies. Yeah. So we just play both of these. I guess we attack first in the air. Yeah. What about loathsome catablepus? Ah, loathsome <laughs> kitty beetle plaster. Okay. Uh, Zanias, thank you, friend, for the 25 month reso. Mm. What is that? Can't emote? believe it's almost Christmas. Is that a snowman arm? Is that what that's yeah. supposed to be? It's yeah. like the art. Man, at, po for us, post Desert Bus, mm -hmm. it's just like. Once Desert Bus ends, the rest of the year is just like a screaming locomotive. It's just like, ah! Because we go into this dank hole, yeah. and then we come out, and all the Christmas decorations are up in the city, and we're like, what happened? Oh, that was. Oh. Um, how do you feel about jamming with everything? Because we can kill, we can outflank the Love Strike Beast with our first strikers, and then eat it for free if they block with that. Red Cap gets to. Trade, trade for a youthful knight? knight? I think that's fine. I like that. Yeah. I'm Not everything. I mean, leave back the Rose Thorn Act. Okay. Because we can still cast the... Um, the if bird. they don't block with the beast, yeah. then I think we just cast the bird. That's fair. We can also watch some future if we need to. Uh-huh. Does anyone of you play modern? No, I do not. Nah, sorry. I don't play a lot of constructed. No. I don't mind commander, but... Draft is, like, my favorite thing to do in Magic. <sighs> no blocks. Sick. Cool game. So do we just go shields down and play this bird? Yeah. Like, like we're now, at 23, right? Yeah, they attack, we playing. just take 7, and then we just, like, yeah. move on with our lives. Like, they're not attacking. Hey, Graham, how do you feel about a commander deck full of foil super art altars? I mean, that sounds amazing. Do you mean, like... There any cards in what in what context? Cards or characters I hope return in Theros? Um, Elspeth? Yeah. Does Graham actually have a Bear Force 1 deck now, or is that just for game nights? I don't actually have uh, a copy of the deck like I played it on game nights. I need to actually, like, 
<laughs> build that. Daxos, yeah. Oh, Man, yeah. Man, Daxos. Daxos was like a card that I love drafting. Mm hmm. What are your thoughts on AEW? Uh, wait for ne the new. Um, we talked all line. about AEW. We spent like an hour talking about AEW. Yeah. So now we jam with everything but the Acolyte again? You even just jam with the Acolyte. Or right? with the Acolyte also? One, two, three, four. So now it just our outflank kills the beast. Yeah. Twas outflank killed the beast. Yeah, we just we <laughs> yeah, just, we just jam. Daxos is dead. Well, huh. that, that never stopped anybody else on Theron. Yeah. When has that stopped anybody in fiction? Death. That's a trade. Oh, Daxos the returned. What you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was in one of the commander sets, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, so uh, we just kill the beast? beast? Yeah. Bip! Play another night. That felt like a pretty good turn. That was pretty good, yeah. There was a Dice Friends tonight? No, we're playing uh, the last book that we have of the Fighting Fantasy. Tonight is Adam Reed's to chat. Yeah. yeah. Does Sidewalk Sam have a regularly planned day it comes out? Uh, we should really... We should we have. We should really nail that down. Yeah. I've been talking to Heather about it, but she's it unplugged. So... We should have a meeting. It's tough. And talk about... Oh. Mm, that doesn't kill it. We could, but we can once in future for, for yeah, outflank <laughs> and then just jam and say like you got to block at some point. So we jam with everyone except the acolyte. Oh yeah, to trick them. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, we have to because we need the mana if we want a once in future. Yeah, and but I just mean like yeah, I realize that. We have lethal. Do we have a pump spell in our graveyard? How did we have leaf? Cast bears. Uh, I don't know. Kill. We can't just kill. Oh, okay, I guess out, out muscle does. Anyway, um, how do we kill the five five? I don't understand how we have lethal. Do we put this on top of our library? No. We just take the outflank. I think. Out muscle the one one with our flyer. Outmass of the 1-1 one, one with our flyer comes at 2-3. They still block the same way. I'm going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess yeah, that was right. Awful. All right. Yeah, we guess we should have done the math before we got cute with our months in future. Yeah. Sometimes chat is correct. I'd say more often than not, really. I think that's fair. I think, uh, I think, chat is often more correct than not. But when they're incorrect, they're really salty about it. Yeah, but I think it's like it. But like anybody, right? Like I don't like being wrong. No, especially if I'm wrong on that's the. That's why people get angry at me in the comments on checkpoint. Because you're wrong. No. No. Because they're internalizing me making fun of a thing that they like. As, oh, yeah. They're like, but then that means that... I actually talk about that in this checkpoint. Yeah. Uh, I can't even justify oh, that one. I don't. Oh, flank plus ginger brute. Sure. Pitch does force? Yeah. Is it the Pokemon thing? Oh, that's part of it. What was the that, Pokemon That's the most recent one. Um, it's, I did a story about Pokemon Sword and Shield, and, um... And you made fun of it? No, I just said that... I, I I implied that people were overreacting to the things that Game Freak had supposedly said. Anyway, the, the funniest thing was I was like... I was like, uh... During the story, I said something about, like, you know, like, trust me, I've researched this. Mm -hmm. And, um... So, of course, people were like, well, obviously you didn't, or else you would have reported on this thing. And I've replied in the comments on the video that was like, no, I did. Which is why I didn't report on that thing, because that thing is 
fake and not happening. A 4-4. Four, four. Oh, Graham. Oh, we're dead. Eh, well. I don't even think we do that. Well, it had to happen someday. Yeah. We'll get around, everybody. I've been wanting to try... Oh. Blah. I haven't played a Pokemon game since Pokemon Blue. I was thinking about checking out Sword and Shield. It's sweet. Everyone says that it's... I guess, like, the, the opinion that I got is everyone's like, it's not good, but I think that's, that's not... people that... I'm I'm playing it. Heather's playing it. Ben's playing it. Yeah. We all love it. Okay. So. Well, uh, we're well, in... We can't block the 5-5. Five five. Yeah, we're in trouble here. <laughs> Did you ask them to stop calling you that? That would, like that, one. that would be my first step. Be like, hey, uh, don't like being called that. Don't call me that. Hmm. Thank you, Elmas. I think so, too. Oh, right. They have a thing. Well, this is fine. We're going to lose this. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was under the assumption that, like, even a bad Pokemon game isn't that bad. You know, it's like a bad Zelda game. Right? It's like Zelda games generally, like even the ones that people say are bad. Hmm. So what you're saying is, is that we're dead. We could once in future and replay the spider, but that's pretty much it, really. Yeah. And just get back our one spider. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Okie dokie. Five a turn, right? Yeah. We also can't blind the acolyte. Pokemon, it's still aimed at kids, even though you yourself grew up. Get over it. I like that. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, uh, no blocks. Cool game. <laughs> eh, it happens sometimes. No, it's fine. Yeah. I haven't. I started playing Final Fantasy X. Um, I love Final Fantasy because I've never played it, and I kind of like it. I, yeah, ten's great. Mm. So. They've right. got a 5-5 five, five unblockable, basically. We're just going to play this guide mother. Yeah. Oh. And we're going to play this. Yeah. And then Silver Flame, and then pass. Maybe? Yep. <laughs> I mean, we're dead to the... We can't... We have to chump the 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. Oh, no, we can double... Oh, uh, well, no, then we're just dead to the 4 five. <sighs> Maybe G can get the Chocobo race in under one second for you. I mean... Oh, we can attack with spore caps. Final Actually, Fantasy... we can attack with both these creatures. Final Fantasy X is the one with the gun sword? No, I think that's eight. Eight yes. is the one with the gun sword. The only Final Fantasy I've ever played all the way through is. Oh, they don't three. have Vigilance this turn. No. Vigilance is the Adamant thing. The Adamante. Okay, then no attacks. <laughs> uh, yeah, the only Final Fantasy I've ever played all the way through when I was in high school was Final Fantasy three or six if you're an asshole. <laughs> Wasn't it six or three if you're an asshole? It's three if you're pedantic. Oh, no. Three if wait, you're what? just a normie. North American. What is this? Block? What do they do? What the hell is that? That's the first time I've ever seen someone cast that card. They're but gonna, they're going to get to draw a lot of cards. Yeah. Now we let them mill themselves out. We just need to keep blocking. We don't want to attack, do we? That's not... I don't know. <laughs> I don't think we attack. Um. Anyway, yeah, there's a there's like one of the super ultra weapons in Final Fantasy X that to get it you have to win a chocobo race. Uh, there's like this weird mini game where. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. Cool. Jeez. Uh huh. Well, that was a mistake. Yeah. Can we double block it? This has first strike. We just yeah, kill this. We kill that, but we double block the yeah. four four. Yeah. 
Not her opponent. Oops. Yeah, big yeah, oops. Big oops. Large oops. Oh, wait. It's got instructable. Ah, large oops, <laughs> he says about him. I'll just leave. You know what? I just, I need more coffee anyway. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Oh. Oops. Oh, looks like it's just me. Hey, chips. <laughs> Our opponent might have some quests they want to finish, right? Uh, you know what? I'm going to eat this. Suck it. What do you mean, does Adam play it? I didn't do anything. Uh, Alright. Five wins pretty good. I'm always happy with that. A positive win-loss ratio. Or radio, as they like to say. Never had almond M&Ms before, but these must be the smallest almonds. World's tiniest almonds. Can't keep this, hey? Nope. I mean, we can use Rose Thorn to cast Hushbringer on turn two. Yeah. What will we put back? Silver Flame? Yeah. <laughs> the Oopser became the Oopsie. Clearly, Adam was the only player sitting in the chair for that defeat. Oh. Yeah. Well. This is fine. Next turn we get Beanstalk. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Then we start out muscling things. Uh oh. Don't reave us. Just make Ginger Brute extra fast. Make it slippery. I'm glad it's a... Oh, that sucks. Oh. Wait, what? So we trade a card? They two they two for one themselves to get rid of our beanstalk giant. Sure. Okay. That card's not good. Mm -mm. Especially in the dark in a best of one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, was, Monkey Rama, they fixed the bots. When it was mono secret keepers, woof. Format was doo doo. Bum ba dum bum 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 bum. A dub eight eight eight. Thank you very much for the sixty three month Teresa. Oh, I'm gonna go see if checkpoint explored. Okay. A block. I like red cat melee. Even in best of one. Still just a one mana removal spell. For the most part, right? Chug a lug. Oh, we don't get the food. <laughs> ah, betrayed by our Hushbringer. It's fine. I still played a 4 4 trample. Um, do I want to 
don't mess with that. I don't think so. Let's wait. Just chilling. Four, 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 four with trample. Yeah, it's pretty absurd when you think about it, right? Like when I started playing Magic, I mean, when I actually, I guess I was on the, like the oh, oh, once in future. Maybe we just use it now. Now with once in future in our hand, I think we're gonna. Uh, maybe we should have done that. Maybe this was greedy. This is probably dumb. I don't know why I did this. Why didn't I do that? I didn't need to do that. This was a mistake. Yeah, they could have had anything. Ah. Okay. Deal. Let's diverse. Oh, let's put it here. I guess I can tap it. Maybe I should have put it here. <laughs> I don't think I'm playing this particularly well. Just like throwing things on cards and like, yeah, I just. Maybe the Acolyte was like a better choice, right? Like, just to spread things out a bit. Hey, we made our money back. Actually, we came ahead. You're welcome, Loading Ready Run. You can still play bad and win, right? That's the weird thing about magic. Like, I always try to like, kind of do the proper thing all the time. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. That's pretty good. <laughs> I do it all the time, man. Yeah. We won that game. Heck yeah. A lot of our wins today have been putting counters on Hushbringer and just... It's, uh... <laughs> it's, I don't know. You deal with it. <laughs> like, it's your problem now. Yep. I don't want to play this 2-2. But I kind of don't because we have a 3-3. I think we just hold on to this. Yeah, only since you don't know if you're going to hit Witch Doctor on 4. Otherwise, I'd be curving out. Oh, yeah. But we don't know for sure if yeah. we're going to do it. So I don't... What land is that? Ravnica Forest? Is that Ravnica? Yeah, it's a War of the Spark, basic. Huh. I just... I don't think I've ever seen it before. Hey, Matt. Matt. Oh, no, we're dead. Oh. Oh, yeah, we're hella dead. Have you ever been so dead as... To I love Lucky Clover. It's my favorite thing about this draft format. Just clovering people out? Yeah. Yep. Don't beanstalk us, because I'll get real jealous. Land, beanstalk giant. Blech. Uh, Comeback 323, thank you for the 28 months. Hey, winky face. Minor Junior, the 18 month reset. They trapped in the tower are 2 2, Graham. Odd choice. Man, I kind of wish we had led with the two, the, the two drop now. Yeah. Being stuck into two swamps next turn to make you discard four. What is our opponent? Uh, okay. Oh, we're just gonna jam for four. Play a three three. It's a one two. Wait, what is it? What else do they play? Oh, fortifying provisions. Mm -hmm. Huh. Uh, I 
I guess we could just put counters on everything. I don't want to just play. Just put counters on everything. I think I'm just going to attack with these two. I don't want a silver flame yet. I just had to do that tweet about the panelists. New panelists. New panelists today. Garenbrig Carver. Yep. So hang on. Okay, so they're gonna make that huge lad. Okay, but we have some huge lads. We have some here. lads we can throw in front of this as well. Yeah. Okay, it's so a five six. Let's see yeah. what they block. Block the witch stalker, you coward. They don't block the witch stalker, they're ghosts. Okay. Cool. So then we yeah, adventure that. And then we can play the Rose Thorn Acolyte. I guess if they have another pump spell. If they have a second carver. Oh. So yes. Nice. That was a good thing. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Pondburn. This season, this uh, sort of this this cycle of panelist recordings, the episodes that are currently going up are very very funny. Yeah. Minor they, Junior. I think they have another pump spell. I think you just attack again. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you keep her? I don't know. If we, we do, we can't squire. And if they have a pump spell, they just eat. I don't think that's fine. I think we just keep her and jam. We draw a card off of it. They could eat. Do we jam with the acolyte? Oh as no, well? we don't jam with the acolyte. But if they have a, another pump spell, like, sure. I think that's fine, right? We could also silver flame ritual. We could, and then play the squire. Yeah, we could play the squire first, and then silver flame. Okay. Yeah, yeah I don't hate that. Okay. They didn't have a second spell last turn. I think they were trying to hold on to it. They yeah. thought for a long time after the first pump spell when we responded, so I think they have another pump spell. I think we just jam with everything. Yeah. I mean, they've all got Vigilance now anyway. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Minor Junior, 18 month reset, welcome back. And I don't know if you got Comeback323, who says, hey, winky face. Yeah, I got that one. Oh, that's oh, sorry. No worries. That's true, they had food mana. They may still have food Oh mana. yeah, food mana might be it. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I get in my own head about video games sometimes. Especially stuff that's like harder. I was actually talking about this last night when I was because I in twenty nineteen still play World of Warcraft, but not classic. Like I play retail World of Warcraft. And I was talking with somebody in the Lure Guild about um, They didn't even eat the food! They had two mana up and they didn't eat the food. You're at five. Dude, retail's good. I eat the food. Wow, it was a good game. Controversial opinion. Yeah. World of Warcraft is a good game. Yeah. Turns out. Bitdog, new to the channel. Well, welcome. Uh, we have a show. So we have we have two branches to our content. We have live content, like you're watching now. Hello, welcome. And then we have our YouTube channel, where we do pre-recorded content. And we have a show on that channel called The Panelists, which is a UK-style panel show, where two teams of people are presented with uh, you know, very important, realistic questions. Good game made by a spineless company? Yeah, that's fair. Uh, like, I want to do this so we draw cards, but I also just want to attack with everything and have Squire up. I think that actually makes it lethal. What, if they block the biggest thing, and then it's three, well, five. Two, right? Yeah, uh, it's not quite lethal. Seven, eight, nine, ten. No, eleven, twelve. Isn't it just lethal? We attacked with There's everything. A... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah. eleven, twelve. It's like... yeah. I guess they have to block the witch stalker for it to. It doesn't okay. matter. They're just dead no matter what. Any combination of things. Nice. Oh, great, thank you. What's it about? Game stuff or just life stuff? Uh, so the other channel... Is, so, okay. We actually have... Well, we have multiple YouTube channels, but the ones... If you're watching this, the one most relevant to you is probably youtube.com slash LRRMTG, where we have VODs of this, VODs of our Friday Night Certain Cardboard ones, Magic, and we have all of our magic uh, podcasts and stuff and other magic content to be, to, be, to be forthcoming. And then our... 
sort of main comedy entertainment channel is um, uh, more just sort of like general light entertainment, but there's a lot of video game focus on there as well. And this show, The Panelists, uh, doesn't focus on necessarily on video games, but, you know, there's some references in there. Um, uh, please check it you out. You ever sit around with your friends and be like, okay, uh, you get a million dollars, but you have to do X or X. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what the battle on the panelists is. Kind of. It's more involved, but like, if yeah. I'm boiling it down to like a very basic premise. Because that's actually a different show that Rooster Teeth does called Million Dollars But. Oh, really? No. Oh. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's okay. They've... <laughs> it's, the panelist was... Uh, I came up completely independently of that idea and is, is different and... They took our idea for other things, so it's all it's all good. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Files. I really appreciate that. Million dollars, but it's also a board game. Yeah, with that, they also make. What time is it? Oh, we still have time to do another draft, or at least a draft of it. Mm -hmm. The best part. Do we get orbs? Oh, baby, we got orb. Uh, I love that. Green. Yeah, MGB is Would You Rather. I mean, the panelist is... The panelist has a lot of aspect of Would You Rather, but it's, you know, there's some differences. So, more Eldraine or Ravnica Allegiance? I'm down for Eldraine. All right. I like Eldraine. Let's do it. With gold this time. hey -oh, The Scoins! Oh, I mean, the science is not remotely beatable. All right, scoins it is then. Well, it is beatable, but the scoins are <laughs> the scoins. Or midnight. How many? Fifteen minutes. Hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get the maximum value out of this. Oh, sick. Throne mythics not collected. Uh, oh yeah, we only need <laughs> to craft two. Argumentable. Boom. Thank you, friend, for the fifty-one month resub. Have my fifty-one months. Thank you, friend. Neuter commuter with the forty-two month resub. Darkspire Dragon, 11 months. Nice to see you live. Roquist has been awesome. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Guns for Hands. 38 month reset. The Doctor with Guns for Hands. Wait a second. You're not a real doctor. Uh, critical Mediocrity. Thank you, friend, for 13 months. Simon Arc, the 23 month reset. Thank you, friend. Searing Barrage or Lucky Clover? Clover. Right. Good lord. I just want to snap off the Clover every time I see it. Slaying Fire? Uh, I mean,. Clover's not great in red decks, but that's fine. Well, it's red, it's red, red, blue. Yeah, but slang fire, right? Yeah, yeah. Just like slang fire. The Grumgles is we Grumgles take, good here? We could take Grumgles. We could we take a red cap red, too. red green and just splash for the coins. Red cap's pretty good, but it's red like there's melee. a risk involved with it, right? When you say red cap, there are two. Oh, different... red cap melee. I thought sorry. that's what you meant. Um, there's a there's a risk involved, but. I would take the Grum Gully probably. All right. Just could take the Tree Folk. Tree Folk. Joust is pretty good, but like, I don't know. You can splash a little. Yeah. It's hard. It's but hard. You but... can. We still got forty gems for this, so it's not that bad. Surely, surely, surely you're joust. joust. That's pretty good. <laughs> joust is sweet. Yeah. Joust does keep us more open. Alright. 500 bits from not Kane nor Abel. Thank you. That is a really late Wandermare. It is. But that's like not remotely where we're at. But what if we are there? That's what I'm saying. Like, what if we just snap off this and then just green white happens to be open forever? I mean, but I mean, the goblin works with our Grimgully. And our Joust. Yeah. It's also yeah, a knight. Sure. Her bucket works with Grumgully. Everyone loves the bucket. Her bucket oh, yeah. Works. It's a non creature. It's a non human. It's not a human. Yeah, right. Mono red, baby. I think you take the errant. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, head. We could take the walker in case we're actually mono red. Sure. Or heavy red. Dwarf. Mono red. Mono red. Mono red. Mono red. <laughs> I mean, these cards all work with each other anyway. It's best of one. 
Torborn. Oh. Torbjorn. Torboran. Borboran. Borborigmos. I uh, keep saying words. Borborigmos. Uh, I hate this pack. I hate everything about it. This pack stinks. I don't. Huh? I don't. I don't. No, I'm really not taking Okay. Blood. No? I'm taking Piper? What are we taking here? Piper's good, but it's slow. This pack stinks. Pass. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Pass. I don't think you can what do that. What if we that. just take the Penge Walker? I know that's awful, but like, I don't I don't know what else you take out of this pack. You get to take like, the Wolverine sucks. Piper is not like... Hang on. We have no Pipers? How many? All right. We're going maximum value draft okay. today. Yeah, that's fair. Take the pipers. Nope. Oh, Hold up. <laughs> Double Q. Wolf versus with Scions? I mean, it's not great. Keeper? Keeper's pretty good. This is a decision point. I really like Keeper. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I think you take the Keeper. I think we're, we try to go red-green. All right. Mm, Searing Barrage. Oh, yeah. Right. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Mono red! Mono red! Mono oh, red! Dragon no! Alright. Alright. Mono red! So Mono red! Mono red! Torban works with our paladin. Paladin? I don't know. Sure. Alright. Shieldbreaker's pretty good. Shieldbreaker is good. And... Red cap raider. Mono red! Mono red! Mono red! Yeah. I think it's better than... Yeah. yeah. Mono red, mono red. Yeah, <laughs> where's all our dwarven mines? Oh, this shouldn't happen. Card stinks. This one? Yeah. It's a knight though. So I guess it works with. Mono red, mono, mono red. red. I mean, we could take. How many adventures do we have? Not a huge number, to be honest. We got one. Shieldbreaker. We got some curious pairs if we're running. If you're considering the the innkeeper. Yeah, I don't uh, think the innkeeper is good enough. We took. The, we could take the wheel. What's our curve look like? Look, like, what's our? If we're just mono red, all right, like what if we on. cut all the green, including Grum Gully? Yeah. And the scoins. Maybe we keep the scoins. Maybe we're mono red splashing the scoins. So. Like fervent champion? I don't think we want the fervent champion. No, I'd probably take the paladin over the fervent champion. I mean, I don't know about that. Four mana. It's four mana. It's a five two. Yeah, chance. I mean, we got a we got a bucket. Yeah. It's a knight. It's a cheap knight. I don't know. I just think that the fervent champion is just like wholly replaceable, right? All right, we can take wheel. Fervent with red cap. Yeah, Fervent, like, Fervent works okay oh, with, wait, like... this this one. Yeah. Um, Fervent Champion, like, obviously also it gets us 40 gems or whatever. Yeah. 20 gems. Yeah, or sure. Let's take wheel. Sure. Searing Barrage. Mono yeah. red. Mono red. Sure. I think we take the red cap. Yeah. Stop. You can't. They're both... <laughs> You mean this one? Yeah, so, yeah okay. oh, Raging Red Cap, yeah. <laughs> right. Sorry, I'm not doing it on purpose. <laughs> I know. Oh, Slag Fire! All right, do we, we take, like, we took the other one? Yeah, yeah we, did. we did. We might wheel that. Fling? Flung? Could just try to mize people out? Sure. Dwarf? That's our second one. Yeah. And the only, the only other one, is Ginger Brute better than this, no, though? because we have a Torbrun. Right. <laughs> That's the whole reason we're mono red. Ah, oh, yes! Thrill? Yeah. How That's many paladins is too many? How many two drops do we have? We have enough two drops. I think we take the choo choo. Yeah. Yeah. Another fling. I mean, I don't think we're going to run both flings, no. but. I don't think we're going to run all three flings. Crystal Silver? But... Yeah. 
Man, we didn't see a single... We saw one Dwarven mine, but... We're probably still splashing the scoins, right? Probably. Alright. Get out. Possibly all three of you. <laughs> thrill? Nah. We ditched the clover. Right. We could probably keep that thrill. You yeah. think so? It's like it only really works with Wolverine, and I'm not excited about running yeah, Wolverine. that's true. Probably cut one Embereth, yeah. One of these. How many creatures do we have? Currently 16. Uh, we can cut one Embereth. Maybe we want the Wolverine just as a two drop. I just... Yeah, I don't know. I don't think... I think we're okay on, like, low drops. Yeah, that's true. I mean, like, I just like it because it... With Torbrin. You know what I mean? Come on, what, let me dream, Twitch chat. Come what, on, can I have some fun? Do we not have any of the fancy land on this account? No. Disappointed. All right. I'm going to stick around for one game, and then I have to vote. Do we adjust this mana? I need some downtime. Uh, Like six islands? That seems... That's, we go 12-5? That's too much. I mean, we we also have the wheel, right? Like yeah. the, for one card, this you don't need six islands to splash Three islands? one card. Yeah, I think. So. Yeah, and a bunch of red. Is three too greedy? I don't, yeah, no, no, I think that's good. Yeah, to splash one card. Yeah, three islands and a spinning wheel. This seems yeah. fine. Three, three islands and a spinning wheel. Damned if he knows how he got Whoa. it, and damned if he knows how to use it. What James, is this? I think Ben made James buy that one. Damn. Spent that lure money on fancy. Card. Sure, we'll go for it. Ten out of ten title laugh before we even got here. Thanks. Or Adam did it, so thanks. I'm getting better at social media. All right, I'm gonna run this. Yeah, I think let's this do is it. Fine. All right. Babit Noir with a 57 month resub. Welcome back. Holy shamoli. Sorry, that was three minutes ago. What's up? What's the title? I think it's Graham teaches a large adult child how to play a current game. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Awkward keeping though. Yeah. No adult in the title. Title. Oh, it teaches a giant child. Sorry. I don't know why the phrase my large adult son makes me laugh. <laughs> Weasel back, bit flat. Bitter bap, spitter dat. Bitter bap, spitter bap. <laughs> Beetle bap, or bop, 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 bop. Ah. Uh -huh. I see you are also a man of culture. Um, Sorry for the trade, right? I mean, they just snap that off, surely, right? Yeah. I guess it's. I mean, we we have other removal. Like we could yeah. also just slam. Sure, do it. All right. Is that aggressive? Yes. It's super aggressive. Isn't this deck meant to be aggressive? Uh, I can't remember what I was gonna say. Warmble slap, huckle map. <laughs> I think we traded this, right? Yeah. They. Surely they. Surely, surely you trade here. Oh, unlucky. <laughs> Why? I guess. Waddle, sp waddle, splat, bread basket. Uh, Not enough syllables in bread basket. No. Bandicoot cummerbund. What the? F okay. Get you for one. Taste it. Oh, outflank? Sure. <laughs> you win. You got us. Next turn we get to Searing Barrage something. Mm -hmm. We're gonna draw Torbrin, actually. Torbrin off the top. We ha we also have every island in the deck right now. Sure do. That's aggressive. I think we hold off on the Searing Barrage and just play that. Yeah. We sorry. It's a race that we are positioned to be winning at the moment. The no! The Glasket. Right. The Glasket. We're winning this race. Oh. Oh, perfect. 
No, what? Why would you do that? Why would you ever do that, Magic? Do we kill that thing or just... No, I don't think we need to spin the, the mana on it yet. On the Squire? No. Yeah. Maybe if they try to get fresh with it. Yeah. <laughs> try to get fresh with it. <laughs> ah! Alright. <laughs> so I hope they attack with the other two and leave the Guide Mother back, because then we just get to... Yep, yep. Oh! So what do we barrage? The Guide Mother, I guess? Mm, neither. We can give our Brood Unblockable an attack with the 3-4, and they don't have any really good blocks. Well, it's not unblockable. The, their Brute can block it. Oh, yeah, their Brute can block it. Right. Because they also take 3 off this. Like, this puts them to 4. Yeah. Do we kill their Brute? And then they just sack it. Oh, and then we... Yeah, we have to kill the Guide Mother with it, I think. And then we can just attack with our 3-4. <coughs> Yeah. yeah, I mean, not killing anything there was also an option, but I want to have our mana to be able to cast something if we draw a spell, which, of course, we didn't, because, you know, that would... Cool. They were not dead there, but... No, but we don't know what's in there. I'm so reticent like... to concede, as you will have seen if you've ever watched me play Magic. All right, do you need to take a few minutes before running into a door? <laughs> I'm not going to run into a door! Unless chat goads you into it. Yeah, unless they, yeah, that's... If they say one thing about Adam Savage, and he can be tricked into things because he's stubborn. That's pretty much my biggest weakness, man. Uh, I'm kind of like Marty McFly from Back to the Future. If you call me a chicken, I'm going to be like, whoa, it's my chicken. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep this. Oh, yeah, that's a great hand. Yeah. They also mulligan. Yeah. It only takes 13 tries. Dude. Run into the door, coward. Is this the same opponent? Or am I just... No. Seth? No? Okay. Awkward. Man with the goad? That's not smart enough to goad anyone. Is that not what he's just doing? That's aggressive. Yes, <laughs> the real catch is my ghosts don't work on Adam even a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh uh, man! Oh, we attack. Yeah. Not drawing a third land there was pretty unlucky. <laughs> Door after Adam dies, weakling. Uh, we just... On the third land, I'm just gonna get the bucket down. Woof. Hmm. Maybe we slang fire that if we draw land. Oh. oh, we could just royal silence, but... I guess it's not doing much. Not here, no, it just dies. Because this thing has menace. Well, no, it doesn't die, it has five loyalty. Goes up to six. Yeah. <laughs> six loyalty and, and we get hit, it for four. They, they they hit it for four though. Yeah. But we gain four life and we do four damage to them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that's pretty good. Am I wrong? Mm -hmm. I think playing that is like the play. Cause next turn like, All right. cause then we get to like activate and cast a spell. The scoins. I think this is definitely the play. We hit our point for four. Like, the only black pump spell is the Lash of Thorns, and nobody runs that. <laughs> nobody runs that! Oh my god. And even then, they got a trick out of their hand, and all we gave up was a... We gave up a Planeswalker, but... That, yeah, I guess you gain three life. Yeah, tactical error would be. Uh, okay, well, our hand's awkward. Do we just like kill the Scion? We could draw and discard. 
but that doesn't really like help us, right? We want to cast all the things that are in our hand. We could slang fire the bell of the brawl. We could plus. I don't know because the fight doesn't work. It doesn't. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's do the let's plus to we loot. We played our land, right? Yeah, let's do the plus to loot, and then because dwarves can trade with Paragon, and then we can slam we fire draw, the. If we draw battle. another dwarves too, we can like dwarves and then like joust. So I'm gonna loot though. Yeah. Probably pitching. Let us plan for the trials ahead. Fling the red caps or fling? Fling probably. Fling. Play a red cap, or do we? I think we no, sling fire I think the bell. We, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. We're gonna trade. Yeah, so we're just gonna pass. They're gonna attack. Well, we don't. We want to. No, we want to sling fire the bell now because it gets. They're gonna get the damage bonus. I was going to oh, trade guess, for that. Oh, yeah, we trade. Yeah, yeah, never mind. No, you're right. Yeah. You're right. I'm wrong. That's okay. You're smart. I'm Everything's stupid. fine. Nah, <laughs> right. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I just like saying that. You're smart. I'm stupid. You're the best. I'm the worst. Uh, oh. Okay. What is happening here? It doesn't. They don't Shit. gain menace, right? They don't gain Minachi, right? No, okay. I had a mild moment of panic there. Okay, this works. It's weird that they didn't attack with the brute. Yeah, I also found that odd. <laughs> ah, the golden egg. <laughs> the scoins. The scoins. Deal. Uh, so I guess red cap. Mm -hmm. Joust doesn't really help us. No. The question is, do we do we plus just for plusing, or do we we loot this right? Yeah, I think we loot the. I'm gonna do that first. Let me synthesize the vines. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm still gonna loot this, right? Yeah. Or do we just want land? No, I don't think so. Do we just play it? Do we just sacrifice the twins, let them die to like, or we just play red cap and yeah, trade? Yeah, just red, red cap and trade. Yeah, I think we just red cap and trade. And then we get to slam Torborn. Torborn? Torborn? Yeah. I think we pitch the line though. Yeah, right. With double trebuchet in our hand, I think we definitely want to like. Tor Tor Torb Torbrand's. I keep on wanting to say Torbjorn. Well, yeah. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Yeah. For very normal Overwatch reasons. I haven't played Overwatch for. Oh, Resolute Rider. That's a. That's that's annoying. We have to kill it. Like we have to joust with it, which means we have to sacrifice the. I think we have to just leave the. Let the nobles let, die. Let, let yeah. them die so that we can. So we can the, kill joust the. Because we're not beating Resolute Rider. As that, mono red. And red cap dies too. That yeah. sucks. But I think we need to. Yeah. I think we just have to sacrifice that. That sucks. All right. Okay. Well, that means that we can do we can do that and cast the other red cap or cast. A, I think we cast a bucket. Yeah. All right. So yeah, we have to just. We don't attack with it first, do we? That's uh, that's a, that's that's greedy. Cause like then they yeah they just trade it for the noble. Yeah. Yeah. No, we don't attack. With it. We have to kill that thing. No, it's two mana to sack the thing. Yeah. Come on, Twitch chat, get your head in the game. <laughs> okay. All right, take a bunch of damage. Take seven. <laughs> Taking seven. All right. 
we have enough. Oh, damn it. All right. I think you still play Torburn. Yeah? Yeah. We could play both of these. Uh, maybe that's better, actually. Yeah, you play both of those. Let me take a bunch of... Take another... I mean, Tor... Well, no, it doesn't really block. But then we... Sacks, okay, so... They... We trade the red cap with the... Or we could just take seven again. Yeah. And go to four, but then we slam Torbrin and our board just becomes like... Yeah, I think we... Unreal. I think we just take the... Yeah, turn. we double spell and then pray that... Pray for the best. Mm-hmm. Obviously, we lose an untapped trigger there, but let's not get let, let's not get cute. Because then we ping them to thirteen, and then Torbrand. If, if they double attack, like if they swing with everything, I think we just like take seven, right? Mm -hmm. Ginger brute deal. Take eight. Because do we just kill them next turn? Potentially depends on how they attack, I yeah. guess. Well, I guess they have food. So they're at 17. Yeah. They might not attack with Wicked Guardian because it trades with uh, Red Cap. No, I was wrong. So we can trade with Wicked Guardian, but... I think we want Torburn and the Red Cap on the board at the same time. Because then Red Cap just eats yeah. everything. Yeah. All right. <laughs> There's a lot that goes wrong for us here, Graham. Go to three. I forget to ping him. Double block with the buckets? I guess. He's not a knight, is he? No. Okay. Okay, wait. Let's see how much damage we have. Six. Uh, twelve. We have twelve damage on the board right now. This 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 will hit for. But they're six. at seven. They're at sixteen. Yeah. I think we just play that and pass. Yeah. Twelve damage. Nice. Yeah, we have twelve. We have 12 damage, but they're, they have food, so we need to remember that. Yeah. But the Raging Red Cap can literally just kill everything, anything in combat. Because it... Ooh, wait. Because it deals... Its first strike damage is three. Yeah. I mean, they can sack something to the Noble, but then they just trade, which is fine. We ping them for six. If we draw a knight, we can just kill them. Oh, that's. Do we? Tra I think we just trade the red cap for the noble because they can. What do they sack the food? And then they're just super dead. Yeah. Well, we try. W I think they can get it out of range. Oh, but they have to sack everything to do that though. So they can't possibly get it out of the range. It's a six-six double. It's yeah. six damage double strike. Like. They have to sack something for it to live, and then they just trade. So they could, like, kill Torbran at instant speed here, which I guess would suck. Oh, yeah. But I've got one card in hand. Let's find out together. I guess outflank. <laughs> Tyabor, I got you for three whole damage. Outflank would get us. So they're sacking to the... Let's hope so. To the noble here. Yep. They sacked the Ginger Brute. What? is going on. I don't know. Yeah. But why? I don't know. Ah, oh, it's not a knight. To play and pass. Yeah. They have to kill Torbrin and kill us. First, we kill Torbrin. <laughs> I don't like you. My friend doesn't like you either. I got the good. I got the good We're game. At ten, right? Yeah, yeah, well they have to block, so block with that. And then we can Cool. 
Poor brand. All right, I have to go get ready for. Her. All right, the next. Up your headphones. Oh. All right, touch that. Bye. See you in ten minutes. We'll do one more game. Yeah, one more game. Crossfire. You'll get caught up in it. Crossfire. Anyway, uh, yeah, in a few minutes' time. As a, as a special dice friends, as there is no long game or Tinker Tailor this week, uh, this is a keep. Um, Adam is going to be doing one of the fighting fantasy games, on special dice friends. It's going to be uh, Port of Peril. Yeah. yeah, Port of Peril. Oh. Okay. Now, oh, deck. Truthfully, I don't need more islands. If there's anything... <laughs> if there's anything I don't need more of, it's islands right now. Uh, two power? Yeah, we're just going scoining. The knowledge is direct. Strike fear into the heart. That first strike, right? Nice. Scoins online. Yeah, go for it. I love a good fight. <gasps> okay. Mad Ratter's like potentially a problem. Uh I'm gonna do that again. I guess I could plus the scions to. Nah, I'm just gonna pump the pump the diddle bap again. Your heart can overcome any challenge. That's improbable. Oh, ho, very nice. Okie dokie. So now we're playing this game. This could be bad. This is just a one two, right? Yeah, okay. I think I have made a tactical error. I also think you've made a tactical error. Um. Gosh, first strike and trample is kind of a big deal. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna keep doing that. I'm just gonna keep doing that stuff. And this turn, I'll play a red cap and a dwarves. Almost clicked on the trebuchet. Bravery galvanizes any plan. Yep, I will tap bucket first, don't worry. Oh, we're not in damage yet. Whoops, well, that's fine. Well, I'm going to try for the Weaselback next turn, because then I'll have six mana, meaning I can pump Weaselback up to uh, two, four, six. I can pump it to lethal by itself. So. Aww. Okay. I mean, I get to untap it. All right, well, whatever. Roman, help. So, yeah, sli don't sleep on the bucket. I feel like one should not sleep on the bucket. Oh, maybe, is that better on the red cap? No, because on the raging red cap? I don't think it's better on this one because of the pump. So... Uh-huh. 
Jaha. So they've got three, four, five, six, seven toughness in front of this thing. Seven toughness and um, six power. So do we just... We just pump it twice. And they all, because this thing has first strike, so they all die. I guess if I'd done one more, I could have got through for two damage, but Ginger Brood also seems fine. That's fine with me. 24 month resub to two years from Pinball Witch. Hi, Graham. Just figured out how to watch the stream by casting it to my TV. Oh, that's the best. Loving Road Quest and the new panelist makes me burst out with uncontrollable laughter every time. Thank you so much. Hey, look at that. This is a ranking upstream. We got it. No, they just say. But bam look at that. Great timing. What? We just finished the game. Oh. At 4.58. Did you win? Yeah. Turn one, weasel back red cap. Turn two, pump the red cap. Turn three, scions. And then the rest of the game was mostly just giving the red cap first strike and trample and hitting them a bunch. Yeah. They put a clockwork servant and four rats in front of it and we killed them all. Because <laughs> first strike happens. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Push, push X to pump the red cap. Basically, yeah. Hunter Bits from Pinball Witch. Hunter for the return of Watch and Play. Few things have been more beneficial to my sanity than watching Alex and you slowly lose your own. <laughs> no kidding. Well, that is going to do it for LRR MTG today. I'm going to correctly hang up the headphones. It can be done. Don't go away, because in just a few minutes, we're going to go live, like I said, with a very special Dice Friends with Adam uh, playing Fighting Fantasy. Mm -hmm. uh, LRR MTG, this show is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Check out cardkingdom.com. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, please sub to the channel. And if you're watching here, thank you for thank you for watching. Follow it if you're not following the channel. Thank you so much to all the subs and resubs today and uh, all the bits. And uh, yeah, we really appreciate it. So, later. <laughs>